Hey guys, welcome back to another Wild West video. In the last video, uh, what did we do? Fuck, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, I remember. We had to go and look for a guy named Bloom. I think it was Scott Bloom. And now here we are, uh, we found him, and now here we are in this place. Uh, Alright, let's go and speak to our friend over here. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Yes. When we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of bad wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Just hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they'll let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Moripass? That plant that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn are taking the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. Plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. I know one asks you to, but if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William. Just in case I don't make it back in time. All right, uh, this way we go. Cool music, right? Moving on. Uh, let's go, yeah, this way down the stairs. Okay. Oh, that's a sick lab. I love the I love the entrance. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Until recently, the Sanguisus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. If anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is Dabano's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. Uh, holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. Uh, diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, 
You sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Okay, I guess we're gonna go and get some coils then. It's about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Virch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, resonance. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Right then guys, I'm going to leave the video here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Also, make sure you are subscribed and you have turned on the post notifications. Go and check out the two videos on the screen. The left one is a previous Evil West video. The other one will just be another video, which you may want to go and watch. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.